We begin this evening's broadcast with breaking news. New reporting from CNN says special counsel Jack Smith has subpoenaed Donald Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. The subpoena is part of Smith's investigation into Trump and his role in the January 6th insurrection. CNN's report is according to a single source familiar with the matter. NBC has not independently confirmed any of it. It comes just hours away from a crucial development in another case involving the former president. Tomorrow, a Georgia judge is set to release parts of a grand jury's report on its investigation into Donald Trump's attempt to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. Also tonight, President Biden is turning up the pressure on Republicans as he promotes his economic agenda. Earlier this afternoon, Biden took his message to union members in Maryland. He made the case for staying the course when it comes to his economic policies. And he warned that the Republicans and what they are pushing for in terms of spending cuts, well, it could absolutely wreck the current economy. My economy is working. It's a stark contrast to our Republican friends who are doubling down on the same failed politics of the past. They say, unless I accept their economic plans, and which is ir totally irresponsible. They're not going to pay the national debt. I will not negotiate whether or not we pay our debt. I will not allow this nation to default. And they seem to say they're not going to cut Social Security and Medicare. Okay, great. I hope that's true. But how are they going to make these numbers add up? If Republicans try to take away people's health care, increase costs for middle-class families or push Americans into poverty, I'm going to stop them. Republicans in Congress have pledged that they're going to extend Trump's tax cut from his previous four years. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office said that would add $2.7 trillion again to the deficit. Biden made his pitch as we learned that, con that the Congressional Budget Office, the CBO, warned the U.S. could go into default between July and September if the debt limit isn't raised.